Hey friends, it's Marissa at Bliss Oasis Domes and let's find out if the cornmeal and baking soda mouse abatement deal really works. All right, I got some excitable pups here who think that they're gonna go on a W-A-L-K and it's just gonna take a minute till I finish this video, guys. So if you look here, you'll see there's a lot of mouse poops in the mixture. So the mice have been coming to eat it. So this is where my live trap is. Um, you can see there's a lot of mouse poops around. Um, I haven't checked this in about a week because I haven't heard any mice or seen any mice along the vents here. So I'm gonna open this up outside and there may be dead mice in there. I don't know, we'll find out. All right, let's see if I can get this open maybe with one hand and one foot. <laughs> Okay, so you can see no mouse poops because I'd cleaned it out last time I used it and the peanut butter is still in there. So it's working. And remember I was telling you that there's a crack in the door where the mi mice are coming through. And so instead they're eating the stuff and then they're staying out of the house. So for me, that's a huge win and Yes, I want to acknowledge all the people that commented on my last mouse abatement video. It is cruel and it's inhumane. However, when you've got furry friends like Rudy and Annie over there and you want to make sure that they don't eat a poison mouse, then you've got to come up with alternatives. Here's one of the bait boxes that they had chewed on. Both Annie and Rudy love to chew on plastic and I couldn't find this for weeks. They finally brought it back up to the house the other day and I was able to throw it in the trash. But as you can see, the bait box did do its job in the sense that it prevented them from getting action to, or getting access to the poison, but only by like a miracle of God. I mean, Truly, it was so scary for me to think that they could have poisoned themselves. So that is why I'm using a non-poison alternative for mice abatement. And so if you look at my other videos about what I'm doing with my shed, I am trying to prepare the shed to receive barn kitties. Once I get the kitties, I'm not gonna use this uh, cornmeal and baking soda anymore because the cats are gonna get the mice. So really it's just a temporary stopgap. And no, I'm not thrilled about exploding mice in my neighborhood. <laughs> um, in fact, it was very difficult for me to decide to do this because I am such an animal lover. So I don't like to kill anything. I'm a total soft-hearted tree hug and hippie dip, <laughs> but I had to do something. So, and I had to do it safely for the dogs. So. Um, please forgive my inhumanity. And if this, if you get anything out of these videos and you like them, please follow me. I'm trying to monetize my account and I finally figured out what that means and how to do it. So thank you for watching. Please follow me and um, construct and kill my safely, I guess. <laughs> I'll see you next time.